Okay, as we all probably know, uh, interesting times if you're trying to build a house at the minute. Uh, we're doing it personally ourselves and it, we're tearing our hair out basically because of cost of supplies going up by the day. Um, at, the, at the time of videoing this, Bunnings have a two day turnaround of price. So if you don't buy within that two days, the price can vary, all right, which is unforeseen. It's, it hasn't been done in my time at least. Anyway, so what does that mean if you're an investor or if you're someone that has a block of land or someone that's thinking about a house and land package, et cetera, et cetera? Well, I think what it means is that it gives more credit towards buying existing house than it does house and land for the moment, right? I don't mind the strategy of that house and land, but there's a lot of things out of our control. We've got a block of land sitting there. Um, can we rest on it for another six months, uh, 12 months, and see what the cost of building does? Because I believe it might swing around and, and come down somewhat once the world eventually settles down. Uh, the, the insecurity of not knowing uh, when trades can come because of the backlog, they haven't been able to work uh, due to weather, supplies, etc., etc. So the next sort of six months is a little bit stormy there in that space. Um, so it's just, my thoughts are, is just to maybe hold off a little bit um, unless we can get something that's fixed price, turnkey, uh, we know it we've got things in our control versus a whole heap of things out of our control, right? And the other thing is lending. So being able to understand what you can lend now, because that may be different to what it was six months or 12 months ago. So yeah, there's um, rocky roads ahead, I think, for, for a, a, a lot of, um, I suppose, uh, what would you say, indicators within the building um, game. But uh, yeah, plenty of great opportunity for existing stock because a lot more things in your control. You understand the yield straight away. You know the vacancy rates and, and you don't have to be uh, relying on supplies going up or, or down at any one time. So hope that helps. That's my two cents worth on existing versus new uh, in the current climate. That's always changing. Um, but again, when you're buying, you need to understand what your strategy is. You need to understand the supply and demand in that particular area. You need to know what you're spending and what your yield needs to be. And, uh, and indeed, what's happening in your personal life in the next couple of years. Like if you're going to build and it's maybe a 12, 18 month, two year process, we, we want to make sure that our, our job or our income is secure through that time. Um, we're not going off and having kids or, or changing roles at work or uh, buying a new car and getting a loan, all those sort of things that we've got in our control somewhat. So hope that's uh, of value to you. We'll chat soon.